Hi all, welcome back to our channel. To increase the productivity of the organization, it is necessary to enhance the efficiency of the procedures involved. In an organization, every decision requires approvals from the authority. In order to move the procedures of the company at a faster pace, the approval system should also be quick and easy. So with an efficient approval system, the company can minimize the setbacks and also the project can be completed on time. Here the ODO 15 approval module is dedicated to look over the approval request and it helps employees as well as the companies to achieve maximum productivity in a small span of time. So with the approval module, the employees can easily place the request to their managers and the managers can review the request and validate them. Here in this video, let's have an overview of ODO 15 approval module. So here in the dashboard, we can view all the existing approval types created before. Uh, it includes a uh, business trip, borrow items, procurement, create RFQ, contract approval, payment application, etc. And here we have the option to directly add a new request. And also here we can see the number of requests that need to be reviewed. And here we can choose customizable features like filters, group by and the favorite options. In order to create a new uh, approval type, we can just go to the configuration. So here we can see a list of uh, approval types that we have seen in the dashboard along with the company's name. So while uh, we can choose one approval type from here and can view the details. So here we can uh, see the name of the approval type and here we have the option to add the description and also here we can choose the approval type. So while enabling the automated sequence, a new field will appear. It is to add the code sequence and here we can see the company name is auto allocated. Here in the option tab, we can see various field options available uh, in order to approve in order for the approval to be acceptable by the manager so which can be set as required optional and none so here we can choose uh, any options okay and here in the approval section we can choose the employees manager as is a approver or is required approver and here we can uh, add the user by clicking the add a line option and it is also possible to remove the approvals from here and here we can see uh, set the minimum number of approval and here we can save this so if you want to create a new approval types you can click on the create icon and can provide all the details required so here we can come back to the my approvals menu and here we have the my request so here we can see uh, various stages like to submit submitted approved refused or cancelled so here we can see a new request that is in the to submit stage and here we have the option to edit the request and delete it it is also possible to schedule the activity here we can go to the new request and can create a new one. So here we can uh, provide the subject and that is borrow items and here we can uh, enter the request owner and also here we can choose the category. So from the drop down menu we can choose uh, any category and here we can set the period and it is possible to add the description for the approval request and here we can see the approvers and from here also you can choose the approvers so we can save this and click on the submit and so here we can see uh, the option to approve or refuse the request so the uh, approval can be done by clicking on here or can done from here 
So here we can see that the color is changed as green. That means one user approved the request. And here we can see another person need to be approved. For that, we can uh, log in with the users. So for that, we can log in with that user. And goes to the accruals module. So here we can see the request that need to be reviewed. So here we can see the option to uh, approve it. And it is also possible to refuse or withdraw the request from here. And also you can see the option to attach the documents. So when we uh, click on the approvals tab, we can see the uh, color is changed as green. That means the users, two users have approved the request. So we can uh, log in as the uh, Michel admin. So after creating the request, we can go to the manager's menu and here we have two options that is approvals to review and all approvals. So here we can uh, view all the approvals need to be reviewed and here we can see all the approvals uh, along with the approval subject, uh, request owner, category, next activity and also here we can see the request status. It is also possible to view it in the Kanban view. So here we can see that and here we can see the product menu and here we can see two options that is product and product variants. So it is possible to uh, manage the product and the pro product variants from here. So we have been discussing about the features of uh, approval module in order 15. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.